Hello, it's Eleven Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. We are here on another episode of AEW Dynamite, just seven days away from AEW buy-in. A great special we've got coming up in seven days' time next Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Or possibly 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the 5 p.m. premiere worked a lot better for Ultimate X, so we might change it up. As here comes Chris Jericho to the ring. Jericho coming down to the ring tonight. This is his final weekly undisputed trial. It was originally going to be chosen by Kenny Omega, but now it is being chosen by the number one stooge, Brandon Cutler, after Omega said, and I quote, he doesn't give a shit. So Chris Jericho is here. If he wins this one tonight, whatever Brandon has chosen, the next week it is the Adam Cole undisputed trial and the buy-in. It will be the final one. So... Here comes Brandon Cutler to the ring, the number one stooge, waiting until the night of to reveal his undisputed trial. So here he comes, down to the ring. No cold spray in hand, though. Of course, shielding the face. It's not been, you know, we've only seen Brandon Cutler wrestle a couple times in AEW Universe mode, and it's not gone well either time. So Brandon Cutler makes his way to the ring. Let's hear what his let's hear what his challenge is. Wait a minute, Jericho not waiting. Jericho gamble on the ramp. All right, Land Dork, what's the trial? I'm done with this shit. <laughs> All right, Chris. Well, I got the best trial for you. Your Brandon Cutler undisputed trial is Brandon. Cutler! Whoa, Judas Effect! One! Two! Jericho was ready for that! Jericho wins the Undisputed Trial in record time! Chris Jericho with a Judas Effect as soon as the bell rang. Chris Jericho gets one up on the Undisputed Elite. So Chris Jericho gets the last laugh. Hang on a minute. The TNT Champion is here. We haven't seen him since the start of the Undisputed Trials. Adam Cole, baby, is in the building. There he is, the TNT Champ is here. Adam Cole is back. Adam Cole making his way down to the ring. Adam Cole with his TNT title in hand, marching down the ramp, head full of steam, looking at Jericho. Well, how about it, ladies and gentlemen? Your TNT champion finally coming to work. Chris, Chris. Look, I was just waiting on you to get your shit together. Let your ego have the little stage you think you deserve. And now, here we are. Next week, your final trial. And of course, chosen by yours truly. I'm making you wait till the buy-in, baby. But... For now, get the hell out of my ring. Because Tony Khan's told me, my vacation's over. So now I have a match. That match is right now, and it's not against you, that's for sure. So, sit tight, Chris. I'll see you next week. Now how about you get my opponent out here? Let's get this over with. So it's the first time he's doing it in a while. Adam Cole stepping back into the ring and he's got to go one-on-one -on -one with the natural. Dan, you're welcome. Here comes Dustin Rhodes to the ring. The natural on his way down. Dustin Rhodes with a big singles opportunity. I genuinely think this might be the first time we're seeing him since he lost the tag titles at full gear. But anyways... Anyways, Dustin Rhodes on his way to the ring. 
He's got a big opportunity tonight against the TNT champion. I mean, hey, if he could knock off the champion in this non-title match, then you have to think Dustin Rhodes will earn himself a future title shot. And I, I know someone who'd be very happy to see that. Dustin Rhodes making his way down to the ring. The Natural taking on Adam Cole. So it's our first real bit of action here on Dynamite. Without any further ado, Adam Cole, Dustin Rhodes, one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Adam Cole starts it with a super kick. Of course, Dustin Rhodes and Chris Jericho, longtime friends, known each other for most of their careers as Dustin puts Cole on the ropes now, and Dustin with a right hook to Adam Cole. Grabs onto him now, and Dustin ties him up the ropes, pulling back on the ropes. Dustin Rhodes takes out the arm. There's a right hook. He knocks Adam Cole into the ropes again. And now Dustin Rhodes punches him in the back. Cole comes off the ropes and he does it again. Adam Cole goes down. Dustin goes for a kick. And Adam Cole now sweeping the leg. Adam Cole with a kick taking him down. Adam Cole gets Dustin Rhodes back up to his feet. Slaps him in the face. Right hands connecting. Adam Cole with an elbow strike. There's a slap from Dustin. Dustin Rhodes firing back now. And Dustin Rhodes sweeps the leg. And a kick from Dustin. He takes down Adam Cole. Dustin Rhodes now grabbing Adam Cole back to his feet. Gets him up and a suplex. Takes him down. Dustin Rhodes now says he's done. Adam Cole's down. Dustin Rhodes with a stomp to the arm. Cole goes down. And now Rhodes getting Adam Cole back up to his feet. Dustin Rhodes tries to shove him back. Adam Cole tries to clothesline him. But Dustin... Grabs onto him, double underhook, and a suplex takes him down. There's another kick. Dustin grabs onto Adam Cole. Knee to the side of the head. And now Dustin dragging him away from the ropes. Rhodes turns him over into the cover. Dustin Rhodes looking for the win here. One, two, no. A kick out from Adam Cole. And now Rhodes gets Cole right back up to his feet. Dustin Rhodes grabs onto him. He throws Adam Cole into the corner. As Rhodes now grabs onto him. Adam Cole counters. Into another super kick. Staggers him. One more for good measure. Puts him in the ropes. And now Cole throws him out of the ring. Here comes the TNT champion. Off the ropes. Diving drop kick to the outside. Dustin now getting picked back up by Cole. Who throws him back into the ring. And Adam Cole gets him up to his feet. Cole kicks him in the knee. Pulls him in. Pops him up. And drops him on his neck. Cover by Adam Cole. One. Two. Kick out from Rhodes. Rhodes back to his feet. Close line. Takes down Adam Cole. And now Adam Cole gets grabbed. Dustin Rhodes pulls him in into a sidewalk backbreaker. Adam Cole goes down. Dustin Rhodes now pulling back on the arm. Adam Cole's down now. Dustin Rhodes grabs onto him and Rhodes with a jumping neck breaker. Adam Cole goes down now and Adam Cole gets kicked out of the knee by Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes does it again. Grabs him one more time now working over the knee of Adam Cole. Adam Cole in trouble as Dustin Rhodes takes out the knee. Adam Cole's down. Rhodes getting him back up to his feet. Turns him around with a right hook. Dustin Rhodes gets him up. Drops him on the back of his head. Into a cover now from Rhodes to the TNT champ. To Adam Cole. Kicks out. And now Dustin telling him to get back up to his feet. Here we go. Dustin Rhodes. Oh, a jawbreaker from Cole. Super kick. Oh, he kicks out the knee. Hits the ropes for the boom. One, two, no. He didn't take the knee pad down. That's a bad, that's part of why it happened, I'm sure. Adam Cole, if he hits you with the boom with the exposed knee, it's all over. He throws Dustin into the corner now, and Adam Cole, no, Rhodes with an elbow to the head. Dustin Rhodes grabs onto him now. High-low attempt, Adam Cole rolls it through. Cole with a chop now, knocking him back, slaps him in the face. Adam Cole driving his elbow into the face repeatedly now. 
Rhodes goes down. Adam Cole with a double axe handle. Taking him down now, Adam Cole. Gets him back up to his feet, and Adam Cole kicks him in the ribs. Pulls him in, pops him up, knee into the neck. Cole's down. Cole's got him down. Adam Cole kicks him. Here we go. Gonna try it a second time. The boom connects a second time. One, two, three. Adam Cole scores the win. It took a pair of booms to do it. But that just shows you also how good the natural still is. He just gets better with age like a fine wine. Adam Cole scores the win over Dustin Rhodes tonight. That's a big win for Adam Cole. We got plenty more where that came from though. Can't wait to find out what the undisputed trial is next week. Adam Cole scores the win over Dustin Rhodes. We got more coming up here on Dynamite. Whoa, hang on a minute. Backstage, that's Paige Van Zandt and Jade Cargill. Two of the heavy favorites for the casino ladder match next week. Brawling backstage. Van Zandt, oh my God. Throws Cargill off that platform and onto concrete. Cargill grasping at her knee. As Van Zant now grabbing a chair. This is the first time we're ever seeing someone make Jade Cargill look weak. Look vulnerable. Paige Van Zant only further cementing herself as the favorite to win the ladder match next week. As she cracks the chair over Jade Cargill again, knocking her into that fence. Van Zant takes her down. We got more coming up on Dynamite. We're gonna move into some more action up next. We are just moving right along through Dynamite tonight. We have tag team action coming up as here come the acclaimed to the ring. I'm sorry, I can't rap. I'm not going to rap. The acclaimed making their way to the ring. Max Caster and Anthony Bowens, a team I've become very fond of over the last few months. Caster and Bowens making their way down to the ring. LS11 Universe, the acclaimed have arrived. As I've said, I'm a big fan of these guys. Every time I see them, they make me love them more. I'm not even kidding. So Caster and Bowens make their way to the ring. They step into the ring. They've got to take on a team that's only just teaming up for the first time in LS11 Universe tonight. Out first. Secret no more. Buddy Matthews making his way to the ring. Secret no more. Former TNT champion is here. I believe this is the first time we're seeing him wrestle since losing the TNT title at Winter is Coming. Buddy Matthews making his way to the ring tonight. First time we're seeing him since first time we're gonna be seeing him in ring since that title loss at Winter is coming. He made a he made a challenge though. He made a challenge to the House of Black. He told the House of Black he wanted them in a tag team match at buy-in to try and get the early upper hand going into what will no doubt be an amazing third match with Malachi Black. We get to see that third one-on-one -on -one match between the two. So Buddy Matthews makes his way to the ring. The best kept secret is here. And out next, making his AEW in-ring debut, the colossal Jonah on his way to the ring. Jonah, that is a monster right there, man. He is bent on destruction. All came over from Impact Wrestling to be here in AEW to help Buddy Matthews out against the House of Black. If you want someone to help counteract that big Brody King, well, look no further than Jonah. So Buddy Matthews and Jonah getting a warm up before their matchup with House of Black next week. It'll be a great tag team matchup, I'm sure. I'm looking forward to it. 
Jonah making his way to the ring now. Jonah and Matthews. As I said, first time we're ever seeing these two team up here in AEW. A little ironic. Jonah and Matthews both pegged as the future of LS11 Universe. Turns out it was right, just not in the right company. Got to start two new series for it to be possible. Buddy Matthews and Max Caster starting it off. It's Caster getting slapped by Matthews, who hits him with a backhand. Buddy Matthews now sends him off the ropes, and Matthews oh, runs into him. Max Caster grabs onto him now, and Platinum Max taking Matthews towards the ropes, puts him in the ropes. Caster grabs onto Buddy. Max Caster tying him up in the ropes, pulling on the neck of Buddy Matthews. Oh, Max Caster puts him in the, takes him down in the ropes. Matthews hung up in the middle rope now. And Max Caster kicks him again. Buddy Matthews getting back up. Max Caster. Oh, Matthews flips out of it. Max Caster gets drop kicked. Buddy Matthews now getting him back up to his feet. And Buddy Matthews goes for another kick. Max Caster counters. And now Caster with Matthews. Putting his arm in the rope. Matthews staggers. Caster went for a super kick. Matthews rolls him through. Cover. Rope break. Buddy Matthews now grabbing onto him. Throws him across the ring into the corner. Oh, Max Caster gets the elbow strike. And now Caster with a clothesline. Takes down Matthews. Tag made and Anthony Bowens is in. Now Bowens entering the ring as Matthews staggers. Bowens shoves back Matthews. Puts him in the corner now. Oh, and Bowens! Staggers Jonah there to keep him from getting involved. And Anthony Bowens up to the middle rope. Elevated Dragon Sleeper. A lot of people have really become fond of that move once we move to 2K22. It's weird, isn't it? And now a cover by, by Bowens. Two kick out from Matthews. And now Anthony Bowens with a kick in the back. Bowens now has Matthews down. Matthews gets chopped in the face. Bowens grabs onto him now, and Anthony Bowens with a German suplex. Anthony Bowens now knee, knees across the face of Buddy Matthews. Look for discus forearm, Matthews counter. Matthews shows him how it's done. And now Buddy Matthews getting him back up to his feet. Matthews with a chop. Spinning wheel kick, knee in the face. Buddy Matthews, B-trigger! B-trigger connects to Anthony Bowens. And now Matthews throws him off the ropes. Pops him up into a knee to the ribs. And went for another B-trigger. Gets shoved back by Bowens now. And Anthony Bowens with Matthews. Gets him up. Inside cradle suplex. Cover. One. Two. And Jonah was ready to break it up if need be. Jonah shoves down Bowens. And now Jonah goes into his corner. Jonah telling Matthews, tag me in. Anthony Bowens pulls him in, and Anthony Bowens attacking the arm of Buddy Matthews. Pulling back on the arm now. Matthews is down. Anthony Bowens takes out the arm. Bowens grabs the arm of Buddy Matthews, tying him up in the rope, tying him up into a lapel lock. Cross faces in. Jonah taking care of Platinum Max. All it now, Max. Throws him across the ring. One, two, Bowens nearly beats Matthews. Jonah thrown out of the ring by Platinum Max Caster. And Anthony Bowens now grabs Matthews knee into the ribs. Oh, and Jonah powers his way back into the ring. Jonah goes into the corner. Jonah saying, tag me, tag me in. Bunny Matthews kicks up to his feet. Went for the B trigger to Caster. Missed it though, and now Caster. Gets him up on his shoulders. Max Caster. Getting elbowed in the head by Matthews. And Buddy Matthews throws him off the ropes. Oh, went for the B-trigger. Caster out of the way. Matthews is trying to get some separation between himself and Caster. Rolls through. That might be the separation you need. Runs to the corner. Tank made. Oh, boy. Here comes Jonah. Well, Max Caster sidestepped into an elbow, though. Now Caster gets him back up to his feet. Max Caster went for a boot. Jonah went for the clothesline. Caster got out of the way now, and Caster stomps the arm. I'm gonna be honest, I miss the old hot tag AI where you actually like had super armor when you first got hot tagged. 
Nowadays it's like as soon as you get hot tag, things get reversed. It's really annoying. Kills the momentum of it. He's now Caster up to the top. Whoa! Jonah just got out of the way and kicks him in the face. Oh, and Bowens with a knee strike. Caster and Bowens working really well together tonight. But Jonah knocks him back with another clothesline. Good lord. Turn Caster inside out. Now Bowens is back in. Anthony Bowens. Well, uppercut knocks him back. And Bowens, another one. Kicks out the leg of Jonah. Anthony Bowens has him down. Jonah rolls back to his feet. Bowens into a neck breaker. The acclaimed working really well as a team tonight. And that is going to be one thing they've got the advantage over these two with, is they are a team. Matthews and Jonah have never teamed up before tonight. Oh, Matthews gets drum kicked by Max. Bowens with a German. Anthony Bowens is a freak of nature. Anthony Bowens now. Jonah is down. Jonah back to his feet. He grabs onto Bowens now. Gets him up and Jonah... Drives him into the mat with a neck, with an elevated neck breaker. And now Jonah with Bowens. Oh, throws him so hard he falls. Jonah now getting him back up to his feet. And Jonah. Headbutt. And Jonah now gets him back up to his feet. Jonah. Oh, dear God. Pulls him in. Power bomb. Wipes out Caster as well. Cover on Bowens. One, two, no! Anthony Bowens kicked out as Buddy Matthews gets tagged in. Matthews saying, let me finish it. Kicks him in the ribs and Buddy Matthews gonna show us that what goes up must come down. Cover. One, two, no! Max Caster makes the save. Eats a B trigger for his troubles. As now Bowens getting picked back up by Matthews. Who's gonna hit him with another B trigger? And now Buddy Matthews gets Anthony Bowens back to his feet. Goes for a kick. And Zaguri connects. Tag made back to Jonah. And now Jonah grabs it back to his feet. And Jonah kicks him in the ribs. Jonah with Bowens up. Another power bomb. Jonah's going to the top rope. Oh God, he hasn't done this in a long time. Drops an elbow. Jonah now going back up to the top rope again. Jonah. Tsunami splash. One, two, three. Yeah, when about 350 pounds drops on you from from eight feet in the air. Yeah, you're not getting up. Jonah hits the tsunami splash for the win. Buddy Matthews and Jonah victorious in their tag team debut. What a matchup this was though. Ultimately, Jonah hits the tsunami and Jonah and Buddy Matthews score the victory. Big win for these two. Next week, the real challenge begins. Hang on a minute, there's Malachi Black. Whoa. Gentlemen, you have challenged the house. A foolish decision by many, but Mr. Matthews, you were neither a fool nor are you the hero. You were the secret that the house banished for too long. Next week, the house will come to collect. We come to collect the debt you have owed us for years. And remember, the house always wins. Eddie. Oh, Eddie. You best start getting your affairs in order, Mr. Kingston. Because you have seven days to live. You have seven days until our little restraints are lifted. Seven days until you meet the walking weapon. 
Seven days until you meet the new fear. Seven days until you die at my hand. Well, after a rather depressing, almost, message from Sammy Callahan, we move on to some more action as Orange Cassidy makes his way to the ring. Coming from wherever, weighing in tonight at whatever. Orange Cassidy makes his way to the ring. He'll be taking on the returning Keith Lee as Keith Lee prepares for the big matchup next week. A mixed tag team match, the first mixed tag match in AEW Universe. Keith Lee and Mia Yim versus Miro and CJ Perry. And of course, Keith Lee's opponent to warm up for Miro might be the only person you could call the exact opposite of Miro. So Orange Cassidy makes his way to the ring. Cassidy makes his way down. Now let's bring on Keith Lee. Keith Lee is here. The Limitless One made his return last week. His wife Mia Yim by his side. And because I know the question's coming, Mia Yim not officially signed to the AEW Universe mode, just here on a temporary deal to help Keith Lee alongside, alongside him in this fight with Miro. So Keith Lee making his way to the ring. Keith Lee is here. A man who many say should have been AEW World Champion at Winter is Coming. Or excuse me, no, at, uh, at Grand Slam when he challenged MJF. But ultimately, it just ended up not working out that way thanks to uh, thanks to MJF and Wardlow and their underhanded tactics. Big enough, we'll be hearing from them next. Keith Lee makes his way to the ring. Keith Lee and Orange Cassidy, one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Orange Cassidy starts off with the right hand, and Keith Lee floors him immediately. And now Keith getting him back to his feet. Keith Lee with a spinning wheel kick. Walks across the chest of Orange Cassidy. It's just great to see Keith Lee back, honestly. Double chop. Walks across him again now, and Keith getting Orange Cassidy back up to his feet. Runs him over, and Keith Lee... Gets him back to his feet. Keith throws him in the corner. Big splash into the corner. And an elbow for good measure. And now Keith hits the ropes. Keith Lee, another elbow drop. Takes down Orange Cassidy. Keith gets him back to his feet. Orange Cassidy with a right hook. Keith Lee pushes him back. Cross body again. Orange Cassidy with a running drop kick. Flooring the big man. Keith Lee back to his feet though, and now he pushes Orange Cassidy back and flattens him again. And now Keith Lee going to the top. Keith Lee's looking to fly. Moonsault from the Limitless One. Keith now gets Orange Cassidy back to his feet. And Keith Lee, overhead belly to belly connects. Now Keith. Gets Cassidy back to his feet, kicks him in the ribs. Keith Lee scoops him up for a spirit bomb. And now Keith punches him across the head. Kicks him in the back now, Keith Lee. Grabs Orange Cassidy, scoops him up, and Keith Lee pops him up for big. Bang! Catastrophe! One, two, three. Keith Lee is back. Keith Lee with an impactful return. Puts Orange Cassidy down in dominant fashion. Keith Lee is back. 
and proves once again that he is limitless. Our main event is coming up, but before we get to the main event, we're going to hear from MJF and Wardlow seven days before they challenge for the AEW Tag Team Championships. So Keith Lee with a huge win. Let's hear from MJF. All right, big guy, this is it. Last time we're going to see each other before next week, because after tonight, I'm heading back home to beautiful Long Island, and I know you're heading back to your trailer park in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. But I just wanted to give you one last talk before we have that big match next week for those tag team titles. You know the plan, so as long as you don't screw it up, next week I'm taking you to Vegas on me and we'll party with gold around our waist and a date between me and Pretty Platinum on the horizon. But just remember, Wardlow, don't screw it up. It is now time for the main event of the evening, a big six-man tag match to close out Dynamite. As here comes the leader of the top guys, Johnny Gargano, making his way to the ring. Johnny Gargano, just seven days away from potentially becoming number one contender for double or nothing. Gargano on his way to the ring tonight. He has been on a roll since coming to AEW. Has been picking up win after win, week after week. So Johnny Gargano making his way down to the ring. Johnny Wrestling is here. He teams up tonight with the other members of the top guys, the AEW Tag Team Champions. F. T.R. making their way to the ring. Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler. Harwood and Wheeler making their way to the ring. AEW tag titles around their waists. So Dax and Cash set for a big defense next week against the pinnacle of MJF and Wardlow. They team up with Johnny Gargano tonight though. Top guys in action as a trio for the first time in LS11 Universe. Their opponents first. The man who takes on Johnny Gargano in six or seven nights' time at the buy-in. Hangman Adam Page. It will be Hangman versus Gargano in a number one contenders match to the AEW World title in just seven nights' time. The winner challenging Darby Allen at double or nothing in just, um, at that point, it will be six weeks time. The more I say that, the more it sets in that we are closing in on WrestleMania and double or nothing, and that really intimidates me, but anyways. Hangman Page making his way to the ring. He's here. He teams up tonight with the American Dragon. And a man who qualified for the Blackjack Brawl a week ago. We now know two entries in that Blackjack Brawl. We will have the rest of them announced over the next few weeks. Brian Danielson making his way to the ring. He qualified for Blackjack Brawl last week against Wheeler Yuta. Now Danielson making his way to the ring. And finally, the man that these two team up with. The AEW World Champion. Darby Allen. Darby Allen making his way to the ring. This big six-man tag match going down right now on Dynamite. So, without any further ado, here we go. Gargano and Hangman started off the opponents for next week at 
at the bye, and Gargano with a Hurricane Rana, and immediately tags out to Dax. Gargano doesn't want to stay in there with Hangman longer than he has to. There's a chop now, Hangman, firing away on, Gar on Dax. Back body drop. Dax Harwood goes down. Hangman with a springboard moonsault taking him down. And now Dax getting picked back up. Hangman gets caught with a jawbreaker. Dax Harwood runs him over. Now Harwood getting him back to his feet. And Dax Harwood throws him across the ring into the corner. Tag made back to Johnny Gargano. And Dax gets him up on his shoulders. Gargano saying, give him to me. Knee into the face of Hangman. And a tag made back to Cash Wheeler. And now Hangman Page grabs Cash Wheeler, power slams him with a hip toss. Oh, and now Hangman wiping out Johnny Gargano. Cash Wheeler with a clothesline. And a tag made to Dax Harwood as Hangman Page turning his attention towards his partners. Dan Brian Danielson is in. The American Dragon now throwing some kicks. Roundhouse kick. And one more to the head of Harwood. And now Danielson going up to the top rope. Danielson standing tall. Here we go. Danielson looking to come off the top. Brian Danielson. Oh, Dax tries to run him over. Dax now leathering him in the back of punches. Danielson counters. Brian Danielson gets caught with a jab. And now Harwood throws Danielson across the ring back into the corner. And Danielson in trouble. Tag med. Oh, here we go. Johnny Organo and Brian Danielson now. Another double team from FTR and Gargano. The top guys working together like a well-oiled machine as Darby Allen wipes out Dax. And now Danielson firing away on Gargano. Brian Danielson grabs Gargano into a Northern Lights suplex, taking him down. And now Gargano getting caught with a jumping neck breaker from Brian. Brian Danielson telling Darby Allen to turn around, but Darby's transfixed on Dax. Danielson with a knee to the head. Brian Danielson taking down Gargano. Brian Danielson, you know what he likes to say, you're going to get your effing head kicked in. He grabs Johnny Gargano into the knee bar. Knee bar is in. That's one Gar That's one Danielson many of matches in the past. Gargano punching him in the face. Getting out of it. Gargano hobbling now back to his feet. Danielson grabs him. Brian Danielson puts him in the corner now. Danielson grabs onto Gargano. Danielson up to the middle row. Danielson elevated dragon sleeper is in on Gargano. And Johnny Gargano falls. And now Danielson. Going into the corner. Danielson tag made to Darby. Tag made to Cash. Here we go. Darby Allen, Cash Wheeler. Darby Allen grabs him, the AEW World Champion. Oh, he's. Now he's transfixed on Gargano, who DDTs him and Cash with an elbow drop. Gargano, of course, made his first AEW appearance by attacking Darby Allen, and now Gargano has gone in the head of the AEW World Champion. As now Cash throws him off the ropes, drop toe hold, takes him down, turns him over now, and Cash Wheeler into a knee bar on the AEW World Champion, trying to tap him out, but Brian Danielson makes the save and gets chop blocked for his troubles. Darby Allen now grabs Cash, pops him up into an atomic drop. And now Darby, leg drop across the chest. He goes down. Darby now makes the tag. Hangman is in. Hangman Page scoops him up. Hangman with a tombstone. Tombstone pile driver cover. One, two. It's broken up by Johnny Gargano, who makes the save. And now Hangman Page scoops Gargano up, and Hangman, whoa, Gargano gets out of it. Hangman, though, grabs Gargano and throws him out of the ring. And now Hangman went for a chop, Cash. Gets caught now, Hangman Page throws Cash Wheeler over the top, out to the floor. Oh! Hangman Page wiping out all the top guys as he gets a standing moonsault to Dax Harwood. And now Cash Wheeler. German suplexes him on the floor. Hits another one. And a third on the outside. And now Dak Cash Wheeler takes down Brian Danielson with a punch to the face. 
and a right-handed AEW champion draw kicks him. Hangman Page though grabbing Cash. Hangman with Cash Wheeler. Cash shoves him away and Cash Wheeler. Right hand connects. Cash making his way towards the corner. Tag made. Johnny Gargano is in and Gargano. Oh, Hangman Page catches him. Gargano gets caught with a hip toss. And now Hangman. Gets Gargano back to his feet and Hangman Page. Well, Gargano counters Gargano. Elbows him in the ribs. Johnny Gargano now. Super kick to Hangman Page. Gargano goes up to the middle rope and Johnny Gargano splashes him on the back. Gargano, oh my god, Johnny Gargano. Looking at some insult to injury here. Gargano with Buckshot. Lariat to Hangman Page. Cover. One. Darby Allen makes the save. Now Gargano drop kicks the AEW World Champion. And Johnny Gargano. Here we go to win it for the top guys. Super kick to Hangman. One, two, three. The top guys get the win. Hangman Page, Brian Danielson, and Darby Allen. They're all three incredible world-class athletes. But when you put them together, the egos can't coexist. They all have one goal in mind, and that's be the top guy in AEW. Gargano, Dax, and Cash all have a common goal. They're all on the same team, and that is for the three of them to reign over this show. Your winners, the top guys. Thank you all for watching tonight. It's been a great episode of Dynamite. Until next time, I've been Xander, and that was Universe. See you all for Impact this Thursday.